So they went after our boy Kenny. You know, we all spoke about in the last episode. They did not get him. They reunite with old head coach Steve Clifford. Steve Clifford is a coach with a lot of experience. You know, most recently before was coaching the Magic. He was able to make the playoffs a few times. However, you know, the Magic and himself, the Magic's front office and himself, mutually agreed to part ways not too long ago. So uh, thoughts on this signing, Steve Clifford as the head coach for the Charlotte Hornets. Shocked. Absolutely shocked. I haven't seen Steve Clifford's name in a long time. It was 2018, (laughs) his last year as the Hornets head coach. And for a reason, right? He is an old school head coach. This is a big shakeup, night and day difference for these young Hornets. They just had a doormat of a head coach that allowed them to do whatever they wanted. And they are now going to a no-nonsense, old-school, Tibbs-like head coach. Miles Bridges, LaMelo, <laughs> Terry Rozier in that locker room, Kelly o- um, what's his name? Kelly Oubre. Like, some vibrant young personalities that are very clash-worthy with an old-school head coach. It's going to be interesting to see if this works. Yeah, you know, especially after Miles uh, Miles Bridges' <laughs> rap debut, you know what I mean? I think it's going to be really interesting to see the relationship that him and Steve uh, Clifford build. Um, but I think this is good. I actually think this is the, I don't want to say perfect, but this is as good of a move you can do with the cards that you're dealt, right? Um, I think you have a, a bunch of young pups, a group of young pups, where I think Terry Rosier is the veteran in that group who, you know, he's arguably... He's not new to the league, but you understand what I'm trying to say. He's not a 10 year vet at this point, right? I like so, with how all you that. You said Terry Rosier, bro. You just made him sound like some sparkling water. You said Terry Rosier. <laughs> 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 Gotta let him know shit. I thought he was fresh. Now I'm playing. I know, obviously, he's not. But uh, with all that being said, though, he's a bucket. You know, so I have to put some respect on that name. Um, but no, man, it's important that you have that uh, father like, strict, stern. Uh, emphasizes defense type coach with this group of young pups, man. Um, I think it's perfect for them, their development in the league. Uh, they're obviously great. They're obviously going to be a great team for a long time to come. You know, Miles Bridges was in the running for sixth man of the year. LaMelo Ball, you know what he does. He's soon going to be an MVP and all-star superstar in this league. So uh, I think it's perfect, man. I think it's a perfect move. A yeah. little weird, yeah, I, but it works out. Yeah, I, I think we got the – or. On the same page, I think Michael probably is like looked back at his roster, sees Miles acting the fool, sees Melo acting the fool. He's <laughs> like, we need we need a tough, tough, strict hand in this locker room. But it's gonna be interesting to see how he toes the line, to see if he changes his coaching style to the times. And I can't wait for Levar Ball to call for his job as soon as he tries to discipline Lamelo because it's coming. He he's tried to get each of his son's coaches fired at every level, <laughs> at least once. At least Man. once. And listen, man, you gotta you gotta love Lavar, man. If he didn't have a special <laughs> place in our hearts before, he definitely has one now. 